Yeah, I guess it all began over just a cup of coffee between the two of us. From that point, we didn't really ever say we were going to open a restaurant together, we just did. First year at Heron and Gray is about flavours and about reputation. So what we've done is we put ourselves under immense pressure and we're changing the menu every two weeks. What we're doing here is just trying to do something a little different and something where you already respect the product that we sell and the people who pay for it. I don't know how to describe it. Like food, food's just taking a whole different direction now. It's not what it used to be. There's a lot of science in it. There's a lot of new techniques. When you get to a certain point in your career, you only need to talk to another professional to know that they are a professional and that they understand exactly what they're doing. And Damien just actually showed me a couple of drawings of how he would concept uh, a menu. And it was simply in talking about how it balanced that I knew that he knew exactly what he was talking about. When we design the dishes, we build a map, like a mind map, right? and you have on one end of the spectrum will be sweet, one end of them will be sour. So what it does is it helps you balance your dish. It was to be a little bit different and much more about kind of customer experience. When you come in, you, you, you experience something. Tonight we're going to do very packed house. We've got 26. Shown is, but she's the allergy to chocolate. So when we get to Choco course, obviously that's the thing to watch out for. We're hidden in the middle of a market, in the middle of Black Rock, it's, it's very much a, it's what you would call a destination restaurant. You know where you're going before you're going there. And after you do come here, or if it's your first visit, I guarantee after a meal or one or two of the dishes, you know who you're going to bring back. You know very quickly who this does suit and who it does not suit. And it's not for everyone, but it certainly is for certain people. You want it to be no, like a little journey, a little taste bud journey. And you want to hit the taste buds and you want them to go pop here and pop there and then you want them to be savoury and then you want to give them a little hug because you've already you've just you've just smashed them with these big flavours that nobody knows about. I have no problem with letting people really taste them because that's what this is all about. Taste new experiences. With lots of different wines on the menu that you might not see in every other restaurant. The thing is, is what's important is, is that when you come to Heron and Grey, you leave going, wow. If I was to go to, let's say, fancy restaurant, call it a Michelin restaurant or whatever, I might feel more aware of my surroundings, how I'm dressed, how I behave, and I guess it's just nice to be able to deliver a very good product where those concerns just aren't there.